It's Michelle again. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Yes, I'm in a sassy mood as you can tell. Absolutely. It is around 7.30 p.m. on a Friday. I do not tend to film this late, but I thought I'd get this first half of the video done right now. So, uh, yes, and as, uh, as this uh, first part of the video goes on and the rest of it after that, you will know why I needed to film this right now, today, tonight. So, I will be doing a review. This is actually a cowboy boot haul, as you could tell by the title of the video. Uh, I am reviewing two pairs of boots. So, in this first part of the video, you are going to be seeing my review of the Idlewind, uh, fueled by Miranda Lambert. That is the company. And the style of the cowboy boot is called Blazon 14 inch. And the color is brown and the size is a nine medium. And I will show you the box. Here is the box right here. And as you can tell, this box has been through hell. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Uh, and I think the reason why this box is so torn up is because it's been purchased and sent back multiple times. Now, when I purchased these boots, they didn't have any reviews on the Shepler's website. I did buy these from Shepler's. Now, I originally told you in my Ariat haul, uh, if you haven't seen that, I have purchased two pairs of the Tailgate Ariat. Uh, I do the review on the silver and the peacock blue. So if you haven't seen that, I will link that in an old card up here. Those are in a, you know, those boots are not in your every average day colors. So I thought I would get a pair of neutral colored blue, blutes, blutes, what the hell are blutes? I thought I would get a neutral pair of boots to go with the other outfits. You know, I, I love options. I love options. You know, when I go away somewhere, uh, either on vacation or, you know, down to my hometown to visit my parents, I overpack and that is because I love options. So when it comes to cowboy boots and shoes in general, I love options because I don't wanna be stuck with just, you know, a few pairs of shoes just to choose from. I love options. These are the boots that are by Miranda Lambert. And as you could tell, I've left the tags on them and I'll tell you why in just a second. So they're very good looking, aren't they? I'm gonna put this one down because it doesn't have as many tags on it. So as you can see, eh, it looks better in the frame this way, doesn't it? So as you can see, it's very tall. It's a very tall boot. It come, It's underneath your knee. It doesn't come right to your knee. It's about you know, two or three inches from your knee. I love uh, the harness. I love boots with harnesses. I just love it. Uh, if you haven't seen my recent DSW end of summer, beginning of fall shoe haul, I'll link that up here. I do, uh, I did just purchase a pair of booties by Jessica Simpson that are a harness type booty. So if you haven't seen that, look for it in an iCard up here. So yes, these are a harness boot. They've got these really beautiful brass studs on the side. I love the, des the design here on the shaft. It is a 14 inch shaft. I love the design. It's very, very nice. And this is the back, right? And it's got the studs all the way across the back. And it's got that beautiful, very girly uh, wedgie cowboy heel. Love that. The toe is a more, let's see, I hope you can see it. I guess I shouldn't have worn a black shirt. It's a very rounded toe, okay? Uh, the Ariat boots I purchased uh, before this uh, one that I do have a video on, they are a snipped toe. So they're kind of have a square toe in the front. These are more rounded. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous boot at first glance. And when I saw this on the Scheffler's website, it, it really caught my eye. It is a very good looking boot. It really is. And compared to the Ariat boots I just purchased, it is a little more expensive. It really is. You're looking about $200 for this boot. I did have a $20 off coupon. They were $199. I had a $20 off coupon. So that made that $179. Then I paid tax. It was free shipping and it was still $190 or $197. I'm not quite sure with tax. So you're looking $200 for a boot. So the shaft is taller than the Ariat boots in my previous video. 
Uh, I believe the shaft on those boots, boots is 10 inches. So that's the difference. I guess I should have brought them down here to show you the difference, but I totally forgot. I love the, the sole of the heel. I love the stamp, the maker's mark on the bottom. Uh, I, I just think it's, it's really classy. I love the heel. I love that. I love everything about it at first glance. You know, as far as curb appeal for this boot, it, it gets a five out of five stars, definitely. Now, when you feel it though, now obviously when you buy products, shoes, clothes, makeup, whatever, online, you know, you're, you're buying it at first glance, you read the reviews and you think, yeah, you know, this sounds pretty good. I think I'm gonna like it. Well, when I bought this boot, it did not have any reviews on the Shepler's website. Now, I had said in my Ariat boot haul, sorry if I keep referring to that, but in my Ariat boot haul, I bought it from Shepler's and to my knowledge, I thought we still had a Shepler's here in Denver. And uh, when I spoke to the gal this morning, she said they no longer have any brick and mortar stores. They only are an online marketplace. So that's a bummer because Shepler's has been a staple here in Denver. Gosh, since I was a little girl, absolutely. They've been here forever. You can see them driving off of the highway as soon as you come into town. I mean, uh, yeah, so they told me they have been bought out by Boot Barn. So if you have a Boot Barn in your area, maybe it used to be a Shepler's. Who knows? So anyway, I digress. So at first glance or at first feel, compared to my Ariette boots, the quality of the shaft, the leather on the shaft is not as soft as my Ariette boots. And in my Ariette boot haul, you know, I had said that the leather, the quality of the leather was amazing for the price, definitely. And these are more expensive, but again, I am probably paying for Miss Miranda Lambert's name, and that's fine, as long as I am getting a product that's worthy of $200. And if I would have seen these in the store, I would have passed on them immediately because I could tell by the quality of the leather compared to the Ariette boots I just purchased. Now, had I not purchased the Ariette boots first and bought these, I probably would have given it a th two thumbs up because I wouldn't have had anything to compare it to. Now, I do have a pair of Dan Post boots uh, I believe they they are the London boot. They do not, those are discontinued in the women's, but they do have them in the men's. They are a black cherry color. Uh, they're gorgeous. They're very, very soft. Uh, but the shaft was very, very soft on my Dan Post boots. So the quality of the leather that Dan Post uses and Aria is much, much different than this boot right here. Now, whether it's due to the way they tan the leather and they prepare the leather, that could be it too. The quality, there may be different grades. You know, I am not a cowboy boot expert. I don't know. Sound off in the comments below, but I am just telling you as a consumer what this feels like to me. It's very, very stiff, okay? So that's one thing. When I went to go move the toe, as you can tell, it does not give at all. And on my Ariat boots, it does give. Doesn't give a whole lot, but it, there is give. So when you walk, you know, it does give. The, this does not give. And again, if I would have seen this in the store and felt it and touched it, I would have passed because just for those reasons. But at first glance, you know, it gets five out of five stars. Absolutely. So, all right. So that's that as far as the outside goes. Now, as far as the inside, the quality of the lining, the leather on the lining is, it's not as soft as the Ariat boots or my Dan Post boots because I just felt them before I came down here. It's not as soft, but I know that, you know, that will change with wear. I understand that. And I understand that these, if you break them in, if you want to go ahead and go for it and break them in and go through all that pain and struggle, then they'll probably be an excellent boot. But 
right in my 20s i probably would have go ahead and suffered you know because pain is beauty absolutely and i do do that with heels uh but as far as boots go you know when you're paying 200 dollars for a pair of boots you want to be able to wear them right away and i just do have too many aches and pains i have back issues i have rheumatoid arthritis and i do not want to go through the pain of breaking these in okay so the quality is not as good as the Ariats that I just pur purchased, but it's soft. Okay, does that make sense? So if you go into a store and you compare this with, say, other boots like an Ariat, you know, really feel the quality of the inside. Yes, it is soft, but it's not as soft as the ones that are on my Ariat boots. Okay, so it has the pulls on the sides, just like my 10-inch uh, tailgate boots. So then let's talk about comfort and i am going to model these but i am going to stand on my platform but i'm putting a rug on top of it i have a red rug i'm going to put on top of it because i don't want to scuff up the bottom okay so i'm going to model these for you right now now i'm going to continue to talk while i show you what these boot boots look like uh you know on i'm going to go ahead and model them for you so you can see all sides back front you know just like i always do so as far as comfort goes okay now i told you that the toe and everything there is no give man the sole on this sucker is like a piece of two by four i am telling you it does not give i'm gonna come back to me talking right now so you can see real quick i am trying to bend that toe and i just can't do it of course that's my left hand let me use my more dominant hand you know it just does not give it does not give at all now i understand like i said before you want to go through the aches and pains of breaking these in for a whole year that's great go for it but for me i just do not want to go through that pain of breaking these in okay when i first stuck my foot in these boots let's go back to modeling when i first stuck my foot in these boots i could tell right away because I had just purchased those pair, uh, two pairs of Ariat boots and they were comfortable right out of the gate. I mean, boom, I could wear those right away. I could wear them, you know, to a fair or, you know, walking around the mall or out to dinner for two hours or whatever. And I know they are not gonna hurt my feet or my back. Uh, with these, I stuck my foot in it barefoot and it was pinching my toe barefoot so uh, i went ahead and got a pair of socks stuck a pair of socks on and it was even pinching my little toe even more so i would have had i if i were to keep these boots i would have to put a shoe stretcher and stretch out the little pinky toe area right here now my dan post boots i've talked about this in my aria boot haul i should have brought them down here um i did have to stretch those a little bit and i did use mink oil on them to soften them up because they were as hard as a brick just like these okay so i used mink oil but i wouldn't advise using mink oil forever to shine your boots because it will undo the stitching around the edges eventually it happened to a pair of my husband's shoes. The sole fell completely off because the stitching came undone. But I used it to soften up the leather and soften up the boot, and it did. But it took about a year. Okay, so my Dan Post boots are broken in. They are perfect now. Absolutely. And I've had them for years. So, but I do not want to go through a year of breaking in these boots. Yes, they are good looking to look at. So if you want to go through the pain and suffering of breaking in a pair of boots, then go for it. These are the boots for you. They are good looking. Like I said, they have great curb appeal. They really do. Um, and as you can see, I'm, I did not put jeans on. I decided to put a jean skirt on just to change it up. So yeah, so they look good with, you know, I wear boots with jean skirts, with dresses, with jeans, you know, it looks great with everything and it does. It really looks good. I tried these on. I looked in the mirror and they looked fantastic. So I'm really sad. Unfortunately, as you can tell by this review, I'm going to be sending the Blazon style 14 inch shaft by Miranda Lambert. Uh, the, the name of the company is Idlewind or Idlewind. 
I'm going to be sending these back. I'm returning these. And I actually called Shepler's and I had no problem. I did have to wait 45 minutes on hold today on a Friday. I called around 1.30. I was on hold until 2.15. And yeah, I was on hold for a really long time. And uh, I didn't like that part. But I wanted to talk to somebody uh, so I could send these back and then order my replacement boots. So, yes. So, unfortunately, the Blazons are going back. <clears throat> they are not the boot for me. But if you're willing to break them in, then, you know, go for it. Absolutely. They're very good looking to look at. But the sole is very, very stiff. There is no give look at that you know but i love harness boots they are my favorite and this is what drew me to the boot was the harness i loved the cowboy heel i i just they're so girly and as you can see by me modeling these boots for you i'll go ahead and show you another clip right here they look tremendous they really do so i'm really sad you know, it gets a five out of five stars for, you know, first, you know, uh, first impression. But as far as the quality compared to my Aria boots, and I didn't even pay anything close to $200 for my Aria boots. And I did buy one pair from Shepler's and I bought the other color from Aria, the Aria website itself. So yes so you know these are two hundred dollars and i am just not willing to go through that pain i understand this is you know this is right in line for a decent cowboy boot it definitely is as far as the price goes but the quality as far as you know as far as the workmanship you know i did look at the bottom the workmanship compared to my ariat boots the workmanship is really nice. It really is. It is very com comparable to the Ariat boot. Um, but is just the quality in materials, you know, is different. I guess it's the way they tan the leather and they prepare the leather and maybe different grades of leather they use. So unfortunately, the blazon is going back. But yeah, you know, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous boot. And I'm really sad it didn't work out. So unfortunately, I'm probably going to be leaving a one or two star review on these boots. I really am. They are not comfortable at all. They are very stiff. The quality of the leather goods are not up to par compared to my Ariette boot and my Dan Post boots. Now, yes, my Dan Post, Post boots were stiff, but the quality of the leather was much different. It was a lot softer to the touch. Yes, I did have to break them in. They were not stiff as that though. They were definitely not, not as stiff as that or I never would have purchased them. Yeah, it's a fail. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, but this is what reviews are all about. So once my replacement boots get here, I'm not gonna tell you which ones they are. Yeah, I'm gonna tease you with that. I will include that in this video. So it's gonna be a few days for me, but it's only gonna be a second transition for you. All right, well, that's my review. So we will see you in just a second, in just a moment for my replacement boots, and we will see if they are a thumbs up or if they're a fail. All right, see you in a bit. everybody it's michelle again how are you i hope you are doing well yes so it's been about 10 days since you saw the first part of the video uh i haven't been feeling well no i sure i just haven't uh i've had a lot of issues and uh it hit me one right after the other like three different things and so yeah it took me a while plus i needed to exchange those boots you saw at the beginning of the video because they just did not work out for me i was not happy with them they did not knock my socks off 
So I exchanged them, so that gave me a little time to rest. So I'm sorry if there wasn't... I'm not sure if there was a video last week because, yeah, I haven't been feeling well. So I did exchange the Miranda Lambert Idlewin, the Blazons, the 14-inch. I do wear a size medium. So I exchanged them for the Cheyenne. It says country, wear it, mean it. The style is BBW 120, and the color is brown cheyenne brown it says cheyenne brown so this is oops i'm sorry i didn't mean to hit the mic and make all kinds of noise so as you can see it's just a plain white box but you know fedex tends to beat the crap out of all of my orders they really do you know when they ship this i did buy it from shepler's so when they shipped it they just put one of those plastic giant envelopes over it and um yeah, it doesn't have any padding, so the box gets tore up. And I do like to keep my boots in the box. But uh, yeah, this is what the box looks like. And look at here. So I think when they pulled this off the shelf, they actually ripped the hell out of it. And that's how uh, Miss Miranda Lambert's box was as well. So let me go ahead and show you the boots. Hopefully this won't be a 45 minute video because uh, I keep you know talking 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 all right so i will show you both boots and then i will put one down so here they are i don't have any stuffing in them so i'm sorry if they they are not standing <laughs> look they don't even fit in the frame huh so yes these are a taller boot these are a 15 inch shaft and i love these so i'm gonna put one down and just model one for you. So I am going to model both, uh, boot, you know, these boots for you, uh, like I did at the first, at the beginning of the video. So yes, these are a 15 inch shaft. So that means, uh, the part that goes over your calf is a lot taller than the Miranda Lambert. I believe that was a 14 inch. This is a 15 inch and this really looks sexy. It really does. I love it. When I was modeling it, prior to me filming this part of the video it really looks nice you know they're a lot a lot more plain looking but i like that i really do and it looks great and today i am just wearing what i told you how i used to wear uh cowboy boots a long time ago back in the late 80s early 90s i used to wear baby doll baby doll dresses and stretch pants so i had a pair of black stretch pants and I have a black this is a baby doll dress so I just went ahead and wanted to change it up instead of wearing jeans so let's go ahead I will continue to talk and I will show you those clips so what I love about this boot is I love that it's I love the materials on this boot when I took it out of the box I knew immediately right away I was going to like it absolutely so oh before I model let me show you it does have a snip toe. The Miranda Lambert Blazon had a rounded toe, yes. And uh, as far as the design is, it does have a swirl on the side. I hope I can punch in and I can show you that. And then it's got three rows of stitching on the top. So, and then it's distressed, which is what I love about this boot. This was actually my first choice. And then I saw the Blazons and I saw the harness and I'm like, man, I just love harness boots. And then when I got it, you know, that boot is normally $199 and I'm telling you, it is not worth $199. It is definitely not. These are about, these are exactly the same price. I believe they are $199, but they were having a sale and with tax, uh, it was free shipping. I think I paid maximum like I want to say it was like 154 with tax. So that's incredible. Love that. So uh, it's definitely worth it. You know, if I would have seen these full price, I would have paid full price. Absolutely. So I love these. It's got the snip toe and it's got the chunky cowboy heel, just like the Miranda Lambert one. I love that. But it is taller. It's It's a 15 inch shaft. The quality of the materials on the outside is incredible. It's very, very soft. Oh, love it. And uh, it's got the two pulls on the side, just like the Miranda Lambert one and my Ariats as well. Um, the bottom of the boot, I love the sole. I love the branding at the bottom or the maker's mark. 
It's very, very nice. Love that. I love the heel. Uh, okay, so let's start modeling while I tell you about the inside. So the inside is very, very soft. Oh my gosh. It is, I believe it's even softer than my Ariat boots. It really is. It is absolutely incredible, the grades of leather of this boot. I love it. I tried them on and I knew right away, I'm not even gonna have to break them in. That's how great they feel on my foot. I wear a size nine and I wear a size nine medium. So I have a regular size foot and it's, it, it fits perfect. So I even think if you wear a wide, you'll be able to wear this boot because if you wear it just a couple of times, it will be nice and, and worked in for you because it's gonna be that easy to break them in if you have to, if you have a wide foot, I believe you can wear these. If you have a narrow foot, they might feel maybe a little loose on you. Uh, so you may have to size down, even though they are true to size. Um, I'm just saying, if you have a narrow foot, my daughter has a very, very skinny, narrow foot, and she usually wears a size eight. But when it comes to boots, she has to size down even to a size seven because her foot is so narrow. And I don't believe this company makes a narrow. I believe it's just a nine medium and I don't believe they make a wide either. It's just a medium size. But um, so if you do have a narrow foot, you might want to go in and try them on and you may have to size down, but they are true to size for me. I wear a size nine and they fit perfectly. Absolutely. So if you do say wear a size eight, you can take a chance if you have a narrow foot and see if it is a little more narrow because it is a smaller size. Um, it's just totally up to you. If you're planning on wearing really super thick socks in the winter time, then it should work out perfectly. But if you want to wear them in the summer with jean shorts or a jean skirt, you know, and you want to wear thinner socks, your feet don't sweat, you know, it, it all depends. I would take the socks that you're used to wearing with these boots and I would definitely try them on with them. I tried them on with footies, really super thick socks and regular socks and they fit great. Absolutely. The quality of the leather on the inside is amazing. Absolutely. I love the design on the back. It's got uh, this little cutout here. It's really, really nice. It's 100% leather. I love the distressing. You know, it's not as exciting as the, you know, there's not a lot going on on this boot. It's very, very plain, but still looks really fantastic. It really does. Love that. Uh, like I said, I won't have to break them in. They are incredible. Absolutely. Who knew you come into my life with nothing to lose? Then you took me by surprise and left me confused. Absolutely. They're both $199. And when I looked at them, I looked at the clips because I had already sent them back before I actually got these. And when I looked at the clips and looked at these boots, I was like, there's no comparison. Even though the Cheyennes are, are the, not, not the Cheyennes, the uh, Blazons by Miranda Lambert, they are a good looking boot. If you want to go ahead and break those in, be my guest. They'll be a great boot if you want to break them in. I have too many aches and pains, like I said before, in order to go through breaking those boots in. Yeah, I just don't want to have to do that. And with these Cheyennes, with these boots right here, I'm not going to have to do that. No, they fit perfectly. I'm very, very happy with them, as you can tell by this review. All right, everybody, I've been chatty chatty. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long, and I kind of think it's already too long right now because I'm looking at the clock. Yeah, I've been talking too much, haven't I? All right, everybody, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Also remember to hit the post notification bell down below so you'll be notified of all of my videos because YouTube does not like to push my videos towards you in your subscriptions unless you hit the bell. So please 
hit the bell so you will be notified of all of my videos and my content in the future. I thank you for watching everybody and I will see you in the next one. See you later. Ciao. Bye-bye.